Am I saving enough? Is my portfolio smart enough to make me wealthy? Am I on track to offer the best college education for my child? Am I buying the right insurance cover? How soon can I hang up my boots? If you have any of these questions, we have the answers for you right here on Let's Talk Money. Welcome everyone to your financial helpline. Call us or write into us at the numbers flashing on your screen and make sure you get a complete money makeover with us. On the show today, the public provident fund investment limit has been increased to 1 lakh. Now, should you be exhausting this entire limit or are there better alternatives? Also, organizing your finances, your money life. Why is it so critical in making sure you never ever have to worry about money? Let me introduce you to my panelists today, Tejasvi Mohan Ram, CEO of rupeepar.com and capital4.com, Amit Kokreja, Certified Financial Planner. Tejasvi, Hi. Amit, thanks very much for joining me. We'll start with the PPF news. Uh, I'm sure all of you have read it, but this week Reserve Bank has also asked banks to start accepting deposits up to 1 lakh rupees under Public Provident Fund or PPF as all of you know it. Many, as many as 25 public and private sector lenders accept deposits under the PPF scheme. Recently, the government has raised the annual investment ceiling in PPF uh, to 1 lakh from the existing limit of 70,000 rupees. Besides, just to jog your memory, interest rates on PPF have be also been increased to 8.6% from 8%. Remember though, they are not sacrosanct or forever. They will be, PPF interest rates now will be linked to the interest rate environment in the economy. All right, and related to public provident fund, we've got a question. Munish Kumar, 31 years of age, joins us from Mohali. Munish works in an MNC. His wife, Parvinder, teaches in a government school and they live in Muni with Munish's parents. Uh, go ahead, how can we help you? Uh, hi, Manisha, how are you? Hi, good, good, good. Go ahead. Oh, okay, well, this question is um, actually from my wife. Uh, I'm asking you on behalf of my wife. All right. Uh, she, uh, she's working as a government teacher. Okay. So she draws about 26,000 per month. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we are, uh, actually we need help in regarding uh, to the investment and uh, as far as the um, uh, tax benefits is concerned. Okay. okay. As of now, she doesn't have any investments at all other than uh, one PPF account. Mm -hmm. wherein she deposits about 20,000 per month, uh, per month, no, not actually per month, it's, the total amount is 20,000. Right. And other than that, there are two recurring deposit accounts mm -hmm. and she deposits about 5,000 uh, in total okay. per month. Mm -hmm. Now we need help uh, in order to save the tax and we need to save ar around 80,000. Right. And uh, other than that, uh, she doesn't have any insurance policies, no mutual funds, nothing at all. Okay, so in the question that you send us or your wife sent us, she said she was considering either investing in PPF, Public Provident Fund, the entire 80,000 amount which she needs to for saving tax or actually looking at insurance as an investment and tax saving option. Am I correct? Absolutely. Okay, so the toss up is between insurance for tax saving or PPF, but I don't think there's a toss up at all here. There is no toss up here. Mm -hmm. It's not an either or, insurance and investment are two separate ball games altogether. Uh, looking at where they are at the moment, uh, it definitely doesn't look like they have any insurance. Uh, do you? Do they have any insurance? It doesn't no, look like they, they have don't. any insurance. So considering that uh, his wife earns 26,000 per month, uh, she should adequ get adequate cover to the extent of about 50 lakhs. Mm -hmm. So for a start, she should go ahead and get a term life plan for roughly 50 lakhs over the next 30 years. That will cost them about 1,000 rupees per month. Mm -hmm. uh, second thing, the myth of insurance being investment. You can completely divorce insurance and investment. Right. Uh, with respect to investments, mm -hmm. they need, so if they are spending, going to spend 1,000 rupees in premium for uh, term life, then they, need, they have another 6,000 rupees for investment. I would suggest they go ahead with uh, their PPF and just increase it. Right. So public provident fund, but uh, keeping aside. So my question again is at a different level, Amit. Does a wife need to be covered? Uh, she, she is earning equal amount as a husband in this case. Parvinder is uh, earning as much as Munish, almost a similar amount. Does she need a term cover or just uh, a term cover for Munish would be enough? No, I think any an earning member in the family, mm -hmm. if, if the person has earning capacity, that person needs to be covered. Because okay. obviously when you have earning sources, you build up your dependencies on the earning sources. So naturally his wife needs to be covered as well. All right. PPF, uh, all of it, the 6,000 surplus that they have should go in public provident fund. 8.76%, no tax, great or almost the 
best investment option for long term retirement planning i know but it's 8.76% this year you don't know what your what your percentage yields are in the subsequent years because now ppf returns are going to be linked to market prevailing interest right so if you want to fix the interest for next 5 years you have mm -hmm. the 5 year fd option as well you can put a lump sum of 20k in the given financial year or mm -hmm. 10k block that money for 5 years and you can you know block your 10 plus percentage yield because mm -hmm. ppf ppf is not going to be 10% fixed I'm, I'm probably just repeating the same thing because there is a dependency on the market interest market rates, so and here you and have the lock-in interest. And bank deposits for more than five years are also eligible for Section 80C benefits. Yes, they are. And tax savings. So that's a very important point that you need to remember, Manish. You can actually shift some of your RD out as well. Uh, Parvinder can shift shift some of the RD out to a long-term bank deposit. That could be one option. She will get tax benefits there as well and PPF, the rest of the amount can go into PPF. But remember, a term cover of 50 lakhs is something that you guys should consider. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.